A leaking sleeping pad can ruin even a great night out hammocking. So today I'll show you how to repair and locate leaks in your sleeping pad. And I will be using the repair kit that's included in all our fuel sleeping pads. The most common method to locate a leak in your sleeping pad is to hold a pad underwater. This can be quite difficult uh, because you either need a huge basin of water or a river. So today we will show you how to do it using soapy water. The things you need are spray bottle, soapy water and a repair kit. Okay, so we'll cover a small leak first. Uh, one thing that's super important is to make sure that you have maximum air pressure inside the pad so it's filled to the breaking point. And then what's easier is if that you cover different sections of the pad at the time. So for example, I take the bottom section here and spray soapy water onto one section first and then I apply pressure on another part of the pad to see if any bubbles form on the section where I've sprayed the soapy water. So make sure you spray a lot of water onto it. And now you can actually see two leaks. I have one here and also one there. And you can see by the formation of bubbles on the sleeping pad. Okay, so now that we located the leaks, you need to kind of make a mark using uh, a permanent marker, preferably. I'm just gonna make a small mark here. So then I can wipe away the rest of the soap. And make a circle around the space. So now I know where the leak is, it's inside that circle. And also mark the other leak. Okay, so now that we've located the leak, we need to get rid of some air from inside the pad but do not deflate it completely so that the glue doesn't come in contact with the other side of the pad. Also, it's very important to clean the area around the leak and also make sure that it's 100% dry before you apply the glue. Uh, since we used soapy water and we already wiped with the paper, we don't need to actually clean it again. So we, I think it's clean enough as is. So now we'll go ahead and deflate the pad. For small cuts and holes in your pad, you don't need the patches, you only need the textile glue that's inside to repair it. You open it up, you turn the cap around and you pierce the protective seal that's on top of the textile glue. And then it's actually ready to use. You apply glue to the leak and you can actually kind of smear it out a little bit and I'll do it to the second leak as well. And then we'll have to wait for 10 minutes and repeat the process two times more. So that's three times total. And then you can reinflate your pad and the leak will be sealed. Okay, so now we'll cover larger tears and cuts. So first, like before, we need to open the textile glue and apply over the tear three times. So I'll start by doing it one time like this. So now we have to wait 10 minutes for it to dry before we apply it the second time. And then we have to wait 10 minutes again before we apply it the third time. And then we can go into the specifics on how to put on the patch that needs to cover the tear. Okay, so now that we have sealed the leak, we can start to trim a patch that needs to go over the sealed leak. So what you need is a scissor. Uh, I prefer a small pink one. Uh, it can be good to have a marker and also the pouch with the repair kit inside. And uh, since we're repairing the light side and not the dark side, I put out a white patch. And uh, what a pro tip actually is to, since the tear was approximately one centimeter and you need to have a patch that covers more than one centimeters from where the actual cut is, I like to make a small mark on the patch, approximately one centimeters from the sides, because then I know how much I need to cut around the mark that I put there to make sure that I have enough patch. So the second step is to start and trim the patch. When you cut, make sure that you round the edges of the patch. Okay, so now that we have our patch, we are ready to 
go into the last step of the process. And now we have three steps that we need to do with the textile glue again. So first I take the textile glue and I apply it to where I have applied glue from before. And I try to do the same shape as the patch I have here. And then I also cover the patch with glue. And then I apply the patch to the place where I need it to be over the tear. And then I also apply glue around the edges of the patch. So now we waited the last 10 minutes for the glue to dry. And then we have repaired three leaks. So if we've done a good job, it should hold air now. So we'll get pumping again and then we'll see how it goes. Give this video a like if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Bye.